What's up guys, this is Crypto James talking to you today about Nano. Now Nano is, I always liked Nano back in 2017, I've properly like gone off it a little bit um, and I'll explain why in this video. I still think there's gains here, I really do, I just think there's, there's one thing I think Nano are trying to do which I think if they do all of a sudden this can rocket in price um, and I think they're quietly trying to get this done. Uh, and it's my perspective, I've not seen any evidence for this, but I, it makes sense to me. Uh, before I get into it though guys, if you're new to the channel, these are the first uh, 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. Um, in the videos I showed everyone I was buying up all of these coins because I knew they were going to have big, big profits. And you can see what the profits were from $100 into each one. Uh, and if you'd have done that, it's 26 coins, that would have been $2,600 investment. All you would have had to do is sell less than 18 months on, less than a year and a half on. And your profit would have been over $123,000, which is not bad, right? Now, I bought these, I sold these. Since the market crashed, I have been buying up new cryptos. These are coins that I think can do 40Xs, 50Xs. There's a few that I think can do 100Xs. Um, and what I will do is I will share them on my website. My website's copymycrypto.com. So anytime I find a coin that I think can do those insane profits, um, I jump on my site and I tell my members about the coin why I think it can have those kind of profits uh, and what percentage of my money I'm putting in. So they can literally see the exact portfolio, the layout uh, by percentages and everything. Um, and they can make a decision if they want to copy along. And if they do, they'll make the exact same profits I do. Now, if that sounds really good to you, making the same profits as me, except doing literally no work whatsoever, um, then click the link in the description and go check it out. Read through the site, look at what the uh, members have earned, watch the videos, you know, all of its public record, all of its historical record, you know, some of the videos show me saying something about coins that I didn't like and was worried we're going to crash and then they did and it's all evidenced. So have a look over the site, see if it's something that you want to uh, try out and if you do, wonderful, maybe I'll see you there guys. Right, Nano. <clears throat> so, Nano changed their ticker to XNO a while ago. Now, Nano is billed as digital money for the modern world. It's a lightweight cryptocurrency that's uh, designed to facilitate secure, uh, practically instant payments without fees, um, and addresses some of the major limitations of both legacy financial infrastructure and many modern cryptocurrencies. Now, I this was originally called Railblocks, then they changed their name to uh, Nano, uh, but when it was Railblocks, Railblocks was so goddamn profitable. This did a stupid run in the like 2017 cycle. This was one of the investments I had in 2017. And we saw just this stupid run where it went from like eight cents all the way up to like 36 bucks, 35 bucks. Just absolutely rocketed. It was such a nice gainer. Um, in the last bull cycle, however, it didn't do so much. Now, to clarify, in that first bull cycle, Nano was a perfect tool for using to move money around. We had serious issues back in 2016, 17, 18 with network congestion. Ethereum and um, Bitcoin got backed up to hell. It took, it's like genuinely, I remember trying to put through a transaction on Ethereum and I think it took like a day, day and a half. The network congestion got crazy in 2017. So what people ended up doing was, and I did it as well, was use stuff like Nano to move money use stuff like Dash to move money. Dash ended up having a stupidly big pump as well. Um, and it just made sense. People bought you in, made sense why it went up because you got to buy the coin. So you'd sell off your Ethereum for Nano to then move the money around. And we saw just this huge staggering spike for Nano. Now, I've gone so much less keen on payment uh, tools for crypt within crypto, they just don't interest me. Especially now we've got like 58,000 layer ones and we see, you know, I can basically send a stable coin, USDT on Tron or Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain or, you know, a number of others. So the need, so I don't ever see the surge coming for coins like Nano or Dash again, not the surge that we saw in 2017 because um, just there's too many layers, there's too many solutions, 
the network the, the networks are not all going to get congested and I'd sooner move around a, a, a coin that doesn't fluctuate in price. Now, uh, Nano, Nano did do something in 2021, which was interesting, which was they aimed to bring Nano to the real world and comply with globally recognized uh, standards of the International Organization for Standardization, which is ISO. And their requirements. So the requirements are that you start. You have to I think part of the, the the requirements is starting with an X. So Nano adopted a new ticker and, stand, and a standard symbol. But it's really important to realise, you know, they've integrated interacted with these guys in 2021. Now, cryptos that are ISO 20022 compliant, there's only nine. There's only nine. There's Quant, there's Ripple, there's Stella, there's Adera, there's IOTA, there's XDC, there's Algorand, and there is... What's the privacy coin that was... The, oh, forgot the name. Forgot the name. My brain's just gone. There's another one. There's literally another one announced like three months ago. Um, privacy coin. Huge moth. A huge amount. A huge supply. Can't remember. All right. Anyway. To be, when they're saying seven, Quant, Ripple, Stella, Hedera, Iota, XTC, Algorand. They're missing two. This is rubbish. Rubbish, guys. Wow. What is up with the articles and stuff today? Quant, Hedera, Iota, XTC, Algorand, Cardano, and Verge. Thank you, Verge, Verge. Start with a V. Um, now, I think Nano are trying to become completely compliant, ISO 20022 compliant. Now, what that does mean is then there is a greater chance that something like Nano could be utilized via, uh, within banking. And that then changes the game for me. This could then be a really strong, um, a really strong project that, in theory, I suppose, could have a CBDC built upon it. I don't think that's actually going, would ever happen because uh, right now they can only do maybe a thousand transactions per second. They need they need far more scalability. But as it is a DAG network, DAG networks when built correctly and when you've got larger usage, they can actually go much much faster. So it requires some development. But I think Nano are quietly trying to get this done. They're trying to become globally compliant, and if they do. Just off of the global, like the coins that have become globally compliant have had, you know, are, I think are most, some of the ones most likely to have a really good run because there's a chance of those CBDCs and stuff. And also, if they're just integrated with banks, the usage goes up, you know, the buying and selling of it goes up. I don't think it, it would be very, very interesting. However, at the moment, the network isn't capable to do a CBDC. Now, Nano as of right now is effectively kind of a paypal of crypto that's kind of what they are you know there are a few um merchants that accept nano but these are not merchants that i i think anyone will really use it's only 65. travala yeah kind of travala i know a lot of people use travala but you know we're not talking big names here guys for anything and i just don't see a crypto as a payment solution for businesses. Fair enough peer to peer. You know, if I want to send my mates some money, I could send it in crypto. You know, if I, ex and most of my mates would be open to that. But business is not going to be because businesses price points. You know, you have to have a certain amount of cash that you know you can rely upon. And if that cash has a change in fluctuation that isn't like inflation, but is like, oh, it could drop 20% in a day. It's not, it's not a thing businesses are going to really take on board. Not unless it's Bitcoin, not unless it's Ethereum. I just don't see it. But, so Nano is kind of an interesting one. It's in a long-term downtrend. I can't see it breaking 12 bucks because that's when it hit the last bull cycle. I think probably we're looking at about 8 bucks, maybe 10 at a push. But I'd probably say about 8 bucks. There's a decent amount of volume and knocking around that level. Um, what's very interesting for Nano is just do they become... 
um, ISO 20022 compliant. If they do, it could ride a wave because I think we will see coins like Quant, coins like Algorand, coins like, well, certainly Quant, certainly Quant, maybe XDC, Quant XDC, Cardano. Um, I think they could have a really strong run. And I think that the fact that they're all tied in with the globally compliant niche, I think Nano would, would in theory benefit from that and have a really strong run off that. But they'd have to become globally compliant. As a, and I think they're quietly trying to get that done. But until it's done, I'm not like positive that this is going to do anything. I, I Like I say, eight bucks is about as high as I think this will go. Because again, for, if I'm running a business, I don't want to take payment in something that's going to change in price, in value, every couple, every day. I need something a little more steady. You need something more reliable, more steady as a business. Um, which is why I'm always sort of anti-payment solutions as a focal point now. Uh, that's why I'm not a huge fan of Dash anymore. Um, yeah, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think they're subtly trying to do this? Do you think they're quietly trying to become ISO 20022 compliant? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, what do you think it can hit? Do you think it's going to hit more or less than what I've said? Let me know either way. Uh, and guys, hit the subscribe button. I go through stuff on this channel that you're not going to get in other places. I give you perspectives you're not going to get in other places, so don't miss it. Uh, and if you just want to take the work out of your crypto investing, if you want to make the exact same profits I do except do zero work, that is what CopyMyCrypto.com is. It's where I dive into the markets every day. I find coins that are winners like I did with Phantom uh, in 2020, where no one, no crypto YouTuber on the planet was talking about Phantom as a big gainer. I highlighted it as a 100x coin, the best investment of 2020, I'd said. Um, and when I find coins like that, I jump onto CopyMyCrypto.com and I tell my members about the coin. I tell my members uh, the gains I think the coin can have and what percentage of my money I'm putting in. It is as tra transparent as it gets. And they can literally copy along, see the exact portfolio, do the exact same thing as me, make the exact same profits as me. And like I said, if that sounds good to you, go to CopyMyCrypto.com. Look at what their members have earned since being there. Look at what the vid look at all the videos that I've done, and then what ended up happening. Because I said a lot of things, and then look at what ended up happening shortly after. That's not only historical record; it's also public record. It's on the history of this channel, so you can read through the whole site, and you can confirm absolutely everything that you read on this channel's history, and make a decision if it's something you want to try. And if it is. Wicked, maybe I'll see you there. If it isn't, no worries, there's no obligation to buy. Keep watching this channel because without you guys, there is no channel. And I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.